Trump has carried Louisiana in each of his runs for president, taking 58 percent of the vote in both races. As Maddie Kurth reports, Trump's third indictment could throw a wrench in his third bid for the Oval Office. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. The words from former President Donald Trump's mouth on January 6th. It's described in the indictment. It was fueled by lies contribute to a federal grand jury indictment two and a half years later. Fox 8 recently brought you coverage of Trump's visit to New Orleans for a private fundraiser with Republican supporters in Metairie. And he commented on the talks of this indictment outside Café du Monde in the French Quarter. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything. We have a crooked nation. We have a lot of crooked people running our nation and our, our country is failing and we have to turn it around. So that's very important. Do you put a sitting president under house arrest and do you say, OK, you just can't leave the White House. You're under house arrest, you know, sort of like wearing an ankle monitor and something like this. We, we, we don't know. It would, it would be an unprecedented situation. Dillard University political analyst Dr. Robert Collins says a third criminal case against the former president is unlikely to diminish his support in our state. Louisiana is a is a red state, a reliable Republican state. So uh, we 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 do expect that that Donald Trump, if he is the nominee, he he will carry the state of Louisiana, regardless of how many indictments he has against him. As our news partners at the Louisiana Illuminator report, the nonprofit Put Louisiana First paid for a survey of Louisiana voters in February of this year. It showed 38 percent supported Trump in the 2024 presidential race, ahead of 34 percent for President Joe Biden and 29 percent for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the closest competitor for the GOP presidential nominee. Now, it helps him in Louisiana. Now, whether it helps him nationwide is a completely different question. Because because what our polling shows is that amongst independents, the indictments do hurt him. In, in 43 states right now, the, the election is already decided. There are only about seven swing states in the United States. And those seven swing states actually determine who the, the president is in, in any particular election. In the first six months of this year, Trump's campaign reported raising more than $32 million, but the battles at the courts are eating into the fund for his 2024 bid. The Associated Press reports Trump's committee spent $40 million on legal fees so far this year.